Hey guys, Andy here, and remember when I said I was gonna wait until 2022 to make a new video? Well, about that. So today, December 28th, 2021, marks my two year anniversary of returning to Japan to study abroad. Now, for those of you who've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I originally came to Japan when I was active duty in the US Navy, and I was stationed in Yokosuka, Japan on board USS Lassen DDG-82 from 2013 to 2015 when I got out. When I went back to America, I did do some studying at college, but it just didn't really work out for me. Went through a whole bunch of stuff and decided to come back to study abroad in Japan once I found out that I could actually do that on the GI Bill. So this time, two years ago, in 2019, I boarded my flight and re-arrived back in Japan to live initially in Tokyo. And the first couple months of going to school out here were pretty good. I was making friends, going to class, commuting. It's definitely a different beast actually living in Tokyo versus visiting Tokyo. And it took a little bit of getting used to for, uh, for me, definitely. Uh, then the you know what happened and we switched to online classes where we've pretty much been ever since. Now, I do want to mention that my school, Lakeland University of Japan, is going to be resuming in-person classes for the first time in two years at the new campus in Ryogoku. Originally, they were out in Shinjuku. It's been a while since I've caught up with uh, my old friends who are still around and it's gonna be nice to meet new friends and get to interact with them in person instead of behind a keyboard in a Zoom room. And I didn't think I'd say that being Mr. Antisocial, but here we are. So I gotta say, my experiences studying abroad in Japan are a little different than what I expected and what the typical study abroad experience is considering the situation. I've definitely experienced a fair bit since returning to the country gotten to meet with a whole bunch of new people and reunite with old friends. And it's just been a blast, man. With things starting to get a little bit better, I'm feeling very positive about 2022. And that's gonna be the year that a lot of good things are gonna be happening for me. Uh, knock on wood, anyway. But yeah, 2022 is the year that I'm also going to be graduating from Lakeland University of Japan under their bachelor's program. I'm actually gonna be one of the first students to graduate under that new program. And I feel very proud, very excited for that. And from there, we'll see what the future holds. I'm looking at a lot of different job opportunities out here in Japan. And preferably I'd like to stay out here because I've already established myself out here and feel like there's a lot more for me to see and do in this country now that stuff's starting to open up and now that I'll be able to get a work visa with my bachelor's degree I'll have the means to be able to stay out here but that being said I am also looking at offers back in America just to see what's all out there as well with my skill set as a freelance video editor it definitely makes me a very hot commodity hashtag humble brag there's a lot of different job opportunities for me, both here in Japan, as well as back stateside. And I'm just keeping my eyes open for all kinds of different opportunities. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna enjoy myself as best I can out here in Japan. And I definitely wanna take you guys along for the journey here on Andy Japandi. So with that said guys, this is Andy. Sign up for now, as always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.